back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And El Jefe Dana White just took to Facebook and said this story is number one bullshit. And if you listened to the live show earlier, I kind of called bullshit on the story. I said, yo, there's no way the UFC already offered Khabib Namurga made all $15 million for a rematch with McGregor. It just doesn't make sense at all. And oh, by the way, they're saying that Khabib turned it down already? Like, hold on, guys. You got to pump the brakes. We got to think about this for a second here. If you missed the live stream earlier, we talked about this subject. The person that was saying this news, the person that was reporting this was one of Habib's uncles. And if you know anything about Habib's team or the guys he rules with or whoever who speaks up for Khabib, it's never been this random uncle. This could be some guy out of the loop. I mean, you'll hear Khabib's manager, Ali Abdelaziz. Sometimes you might hear about his teammates, his crew, you know, the other number of Madoffs that are fighting for PFL or various organizations. Um, or Zubaira Turkumov, the guy that, you know, is getting pulled out of his fight with Artem Lobov. There's a lot of guys around Khabib that you hear about, and it's never really been this uncle. I mean, you even hear about Khabib's father, everyone knows and respects. Um, but that's not who was saying this news. And what Khabib's uncle had said was that Khabib turned down a $15 million offer for a rematch with McGregor. And that just doesn't make a lot of sense. You know why? For one, it's number one easy fight, like Khabib said. He showed when he busted Conor McGregor's ass at UFC 229. So for one, that would be a, a easy $15 million. And you got Khabib also recently talking about slapping up Brock Lesnar in the WWE or fighting Floyd Mayweather. So Khabib has shown that he's interested in money. So why would he turn down this immediate rematch? Hell, this is your best chance to beat McGregor again. If you give McGregor time to fight Aldo or Diaz in the meantime and shake off this ring rust, you might not beat McGregor in the rematch. So honestly, the best chance, the best possible case for Khabib would be a 15 million dollar rematch and so um even though it sounds good you know what i'm saying like you know khabib he, he doesn't do it for the money and there's something to that khabib does kind of fight for legacy but at the same time when everyone gets to the top they go for the money that's that's really what we're in it for none of these guys are making fucking you know this is mma you got to keep that in mind khabib none of these guys are making money that you might think when you think of the top athletes in the world right you got guys in the nba and nfl and, and mlb and other sports that are making hundreds of millions of dollars with every contract khabib probably just scraped 15 million with this fight and this is the first time he's ever got close to that amount of money because he just fought conor mcgregor so khabib still needs money and, and that was pointed out to us you kind of know that and, and you get that hint whenever he's talking about going to the wwe or, or you know fighting floyd mayweather you're not doing that for your legacy so it is what it is it's still rock with khabib and america made off you know what i'm saying um but i don't think he's above taking an immediate rematch with mcgregor i don't like that idea i don't want it to happen i would love if khabib turned this fight down for 15 million dollars um, and, but I just don't even think that the UFC's honestly even match, making this match right now. For one, like I pointed out earlier in the video, these guys are suspended until October 24th. There's no offering, there's no making contracts, signing no deals. We don't even know how long these guys are going to be suspended. The, Khabib could be suspended for six months, so how the hell could they have already offered him a contract to fight? They don't even know how long he's going to be suspended. There's no damn contract, guys. So with that being said, we will see what happens on October 24th with Khabib and McGregor. Because you got to remember that post-fight brawl. These guys could be suspended. Khabib could be out for a longer period. So, so we'll get that update on October 24th. But in the meantime, in between time, there is no contract for an immediate rematch. Not yet, at least. Now, I'm not saying it's not possible. After Khabib's suspension... Who knows, maybe he will come back and fight Conor McGregor next. But the contract's not out there yet, and Khabib has not turned down this $15 million. But that's that would be a pretty nice payday, and that would be a pretty fucking bold move from McGregor. One last thing I want to say, I mean from Khabib. One last thing I want to say. Um, if you, Some of you guys might not know this, you might not keep up with the sport as much, but after Khabib won his interim title, or his undisputed title against Ally Quinta, 
he actually said he wasn't going to give Conor McGregor the first title defense. He said, after I win this belt, I'm going to humble McGregor. I'm, I'm going to make him wait for the title shot. I'm not going to let him come back after fighting Floyd Mayweather and fight for my belt. I'm going to fight the number one contender. And actually, when it came time, Khabib went ahead and fought McGregor, you know? So it sounds good when you say you're not in it for the money, but he went ahead and fought McGregor, and since then he's talked about challenging Mayweather and Brock Lesnar, so... You know, Khabib's 27 and 0, the best lightweight in the world, and looking for, hopefully he keeps it in MMA. Honestly, that's what I'll say. I'm all about Khabib getting the bag because we could all use more money, right? I'm all about Khabib getting to the bag, but with that being said, I hope he gets to the bag in MMA. And I would way rather see Khabib fight McGregor in a rematch than go fight fucking Brock Lesnar or Floyd Mayweather. I would rather see this rematch for 15 million. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. Make sure you keep it locked. You just dropped the UFC Monk Tone breakdowns and predictions. That's the next UFC event coming up in a little under two weeks. So with that being said, check that out and make sure you check out the links in the description and tune in every weekday to the live show and you'll hear about news like this and more. With that being said, it is what it is. Let the full time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. Bye, Felicia.